If you like to watch breakdown videos and special highlights of the latest theatrical movies and web series, you're more than welcome to subscribe to this channel. So, Agatha All Along is now officially over and there have been some important questions that have been left unanswered. And I would like to talk about those questions right now. Let's talk about the relationship between Agatha and Rio Videl. Why did they choose to break up and exactly when did they get into a relationship? What's the mystery behind this? We all know that Nicholas Scratch was taken away by Rio Videl who is the god of death. Now the question is, why did Rio say that Nicholas Scratch was not her son? And also, who is the biological father of Nicholas Scratch? Why is it not allowed for Rio to hurt Agatha? What can be the reason behind that? Is that just a part of a personal deal or there's something more to this mystery? From episode 9, it looks crystal that Agatha never walked down the witch's road. She was a fraud woman killing witches after witches using the scheme of this theory. Now the question is, how did Agatha manage to get her hands on the Darkhold? What's the actual story behind this? How does the witch's road actually work? What forces are actually behind the witch's road? How does time pass in the witch's road? In Loki season 2, we got to find out that a man who goes by he who remains was in control of the multiverse with the help of the temporal loom. Is there any way the witch's road is also being controlled by one mysterious person whom we haven't seen yet? I've noticed one thing throughout the entire series. Every single quest in every episode used to begin or get triggered by Billy Maximoff. What can be the reason behind that? Why did Agatha begin to hallucinate that she is a detective when she was casted with the spell to behave like the noisy neighbor Agnes by the end episode of WandaVision. How did her hallucination change to something else when she didn't even have the ability to free herself from the spell of Wanda? This lady was portrayed to be someone called Jane Doe but in reality she turns out to be the dead body of Wanda. Now we all know that Wanda decided to kill herself after destroying all the dark holes in the multiverse of madness. So the question is, who is that woman and exactly how did she die. Her real identity and the reason behind her death still have been a mystery throughout the entire series. Even her face was never revealed. Is there any way she is also Wanda but from another universe? I have another question in mind. Did something like that really happen over there or she just made the entire thing up? Agnes tells Rio that there was a car wreck in Eastview where the back seat was stained with blood and the front seats had both of their airbags deployed. Now that description matches 100% with the story of Billy Maximoff. But there comes the question. Billy Maximoff had an accident almost 3 years ago but the accident she was talking about just happened recently. So what is the mystery behind that accident Agnes was talking about? There is no way she was talking about Billy Maximoff because as I've told you it happened almost 3 years ago. In episode 2, Agnes Agatha basically said that babies are very delicious to eat. Now the question is, was that just a silly joke or she did it for real? That would be very disgusting. When Agatha was coming out of Lilia's home, she saw a crow sitting on the top of a billboard. And episode 7 is a crystal evidence that the Salem sisters have the ability to take the disguise of any kind of creature. So, would that be correct if I said that the crow sitting over there was actually one of the members of the Salem sisters? She also saw a mouse inside a cafeteria and a wolf right after getting back to home. Why did they choose not to kill Agatha that very moment? It would be an easy kill, right? I used to believe that the Salem sisters are very dangerous but they turned out to be pretty useless in episode 7. The reason behind the death of Lorna Wu has still been a mystery. How did she actually die? And what kind of familial curse was Alice bringing on her shoulder? When Sharon died, they cast a spell to summon a green witch to complete their coven. And Rio Vidal comes out of nowhere. By the end of episode 7, she turns out to be dead which is one of the strongest celestial entities in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Now, would that be correct if I said that their spell actually didn't work? Because almost nobody has the power to summon a powerful entity like Death herself. When Lilia saw the painting of a woman being tortured, she started to cry after that. Now the question is, what kind of memory did the painting spark in the mind of Lilia? What did the painting remind her of? Is there any way her mother was tortured to death like it has been portrayed on the painting? Alice and Lilia have already seen Billy in the past. Even after that, they couldn't manage to recognize him after seeing for the second time. Now what can be the reason behind that? Did it all happen because the sigil was still active on Billy Maximoff? Exactly how did the soul of Billy manage to get into the body of William? This event was completely off the book. Billy has done something which is almost impossible to do. And these are the most important questions that have been left unanswered throughout the entire series. If you guys have answers to some of these questions, you can let me know in the comments section.